Hello, hello! My name is Morgan and I am going to make a DIY dry shampoo. So um, it's taken me a couple years to kind of slowly switch out stuff that we use around here for a more natural product. Um, and dry shampoo is one of those things that like I kept reading recipes and I was like, you want me to put cocoa powder in my hair? Mm, nope. No, I don't see that happening. So, um, so I got a little, I got a little, a little crazy, my friends got a little crazy. So, um, the base of a DIY dry shampoo is arrowroot powder. Okay. That's the base of it. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I will, I can link it for it for you. The problem with arrowroot powder is that it's white. So people like me who have darker hair or darker roots or have brown hair or red hair or black hair, all the things, it's really hard to use something that's like white, right? So here is my fun swap. Most recipes will call for arrowroot powder and cocoa powder. And like I said, the thought of putting cocoa powder in my hair and smelling like chocolate just wasn't my jam, okay? I mean, I I wanted I wanted to find a non-toxic, obviously, option. So this is what I found, you guys. You're gonna love it. I used the Young Living Multitasker. Okay, so I literally let me show you the color of it. It's dark brown. So if you have multitasker, you can you know that it's dark brown. It mimics the color of cocoa. Actually, it's a little, to me, I mean, I guess dark cocoa, but like it's pretty dark, okay? And a lot of people will use it to fill in their brows or, I mean, you could make an eyeliner with it. Um, you could even use it for eyeshadow if you wanted. Um, but mostly it was used for brows. So I mix it with this instead of cocoa powder. Amazing. So you guys, I'm gonna be honest. I am not a measure. I don't know how much of this I did. I literally just did it by looks. So I put some of this in a jar. Okay. I use like a mason jar. Um, I put some in and then I literally just tapped a little bit of, and by tap, I mean, literally you can just tap. See, it falls in there. Just tap a little bit. I already have some made, so I just added a little bit more. Then you're going to want to add your oils because you want it to smell good. And why not support hair growth while we're at it with our dry shampoo? So you're going to use lavender, a couple drops, I don't know, five, ten. Like I said, again, I'm not a great measure. Cedarwood, sorry, cedarwood. Okay. And then the third one I put in is rosemary. And I'd probably do, I probably do 10 of the others and maybe five of rosemary. Okay. And then you put a lid on. I, like I said, I use it in a mason jar and you literally shake it up and you guys, oh, you guys are going to die. This is so great. You can put more multitasker in, um, and look at the color difference for us people with brown hair. Okay. So if you have even darker hair, you could even sprinkle in some of the um, Savvy Minerals eyeliner, the black one. Um, you can tap in a little bit of this. You guys, I'm seriously telling you, the color is great. Okay, and then you shake it up. Now, I keep mine in this jar and I'm gonna show you what I use to apply it. Get it mixed up really good. Okay, you guys, it's brown instead of white. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I use, I use a brush. Okay, and I literally put, here I'll show you, dab a little bit in and then I use the lid and tap it in. Okay, and then I literally will just pull up my roots and I like dab it on the roots of my hair. Now, another pro tip. Um, if you are not applying your dry shampoo at night, apply your dry shampoo at night. 
works tons better. So um, I'll apply this at night. Sometimes, depending on how bad my hair is, I may do a little touch up in the morning, but you literally just use your brush and you just dab along. You don't rub it in, you go to bed, and then in the morning, you just rub your, rub your fingers through it um, and rub it in. Works so good and you don't have any of the white residue. So um, if you have multitasker laying around and you're not using it, or if you haven't tried it yet, you guys get yourself some and try it. It works so good and you don't smell like chocolate. So there is my fun tip for dry shampoo.